So in this video, I'm gonna take a quick look at an accessory for a very popular fine liner. The uh, fine liner in question is the Sakura Pigma Micron, one of the uh, most successful and most popular artist tools. These are sold in a bunch of different colors and a bunch of sizes, and uh, they've been around forever. And they're basically uh, an archival ink with this sort of plastic felt-ish tip that is able to write at a very specific width for uh, the entire length of your line. You don't have that sort of variability you would expect from a ball type tip. It's a 0.5 millimeter in black, pretty standard. I guess people use these all the time. They're very popular, the artists, and it's uh, if you're like a drawing professional or an artist or whatever, you might spend a lot of your day holding something like the Pigma Micron. That's why Sakura has released this. It is called the Pigma Micron Holder. Not a super creative name, but it's a uh, fun tool. And what it is, it's a metal shell or case. I wouldn't really call it a case, but you use it with this on. Uh, so it is really a holder for the Pigma Micron. It's all metal, all aluminum, I think. It's hard to tell exactly what metal is, but all metal. It comes from Sakura. It's not made by, made by a third party. It is a capped design that holds your Figma Micron. And these all use the same body size. It's not like there's different types of Figma Microns. This is what it is. So this is a, a case for whichever one you're using frequently at the moment. Case is very simple. It's a three piece design. Comes like this. And I'll just jump into the box for a second. Here are the instructions. You put your marker inside put the pieces together and screw it in. This is exclusive, an exclusive metal body for the Pigma from Sakura. And not too much else to see here. It's how you do it, put it in, just some instructions. Really much, nothing else. I think, uh, I don't see a price tag here, but I think this thing sells for about 10 to $12 and it's sold in Japan right now. Here's a uh, Micron in the 0.5. Here it is in the 0.8. You can see they're exactly the same. You will note that there's a clip here. The holder does not have a clip. I'm guessing people use these most of the time at the desk. So this clip doesn't seem super useful. I've never clipped one of these into anything, and maybe I'm not the best example, but uh, they drop the clip in the case. They also dropped any sort of indicator of the color and size. You can see this one is black and 0.5 millimeter. There's no markings on this which I guess makes sense because you uh, want this to be, you know, you can put anything in here. So it's hard to build an indica indicator, but we have seen Rotring and some other companies put in a little twist indicator so you could know if your pencil is B or HB or whatever. I feel like they could have done something like that. Maybe it wasn't elegant enough for this holder, but uh, and, and there is no indicator of the color and this back half is hidden and the cap, which says the size and the color, doesn't, uh, it's not used anymore. So if you're going to use this 0.8 millimeter black pigment micron, you're going to take the cap off, put that aside. You don't need it. Put the back half in the shell here. There was a spring in the back. I didn't know that until I put it in and you could see it have a spring action. Then you have this metal section. This is just the grip piece. Also feels like it's aluminum, but it's hard to tell all metal threaded. There's all this is entire case is entirely metal. You can put it on like this and you can see it's a really nice fit. Almost no rattle here. And the top crown or whatever. Almost no rattle, not perfect, but almost no rattle. And uh, it's hard to do perfectly with metal onto a plastic because uh, I just like getting the fit perfectly perfect is you know, it's not easy to do, especially for something that you're trying to be cost conscious with. This thing's not, you know, it's not a $150 holder. It's only a 12 or so dollar holder. So, and they didn't want to use any sort of plastic or felt shims or anything like that. So I would say this is quite good. So this piece goes here. This goes here. It's a very fine thread. So you're screwing for a while. It's a little squeaky because it's that aluminum on aluminum. You could write with a little pencil or something there if that bothers you, but it's not really a big deal. Now it's locked in. The spring is holding it secure in the back. Up here, there's almost no rattle. I can move it a little bit, but you can't feel it when you're writing. 
Now I have the Pigma holder. It's got a nice, comfortable metal section with these metal rings. I like it. Small step up here. That doesn't really bother me. I don't think that's going to bother anyone. If anything, it's better than it is here where there's much more of a step. The section is a good deal wider. So if you're looking for more width, I do find this to be more comfortable than hold than the plastic. And you also get some extra length out of the section and then a smaller step between the section and the body than before. It's a little bit sharp, but this plastic is sharper. Here's the cap. It's very simple. There's a Sakura logo on the top. That's sort of flower logo. Clips on. Really nice. Sorry, it uh, snaps on. Really nice fit here. That line almost entirely goes away, which is tough to do on a uh, finish like this. So that's very cool. You'll note there is no clip. There's a tiny little roll stop here. This thing spins, so it's not a... Uh, doesn't matter how you put it on. The only indicator, only like accessories on or extra elements on the holder are the roll stop and the logo. It says Sakura Pigma holder. And then the roll stop, well, it's pretty small. Will it stop it from rolling? I guess, but it is just a tiny little nub. So it's not going to roll it if you put it down and drop it, but if you put it down flat, It'll, it will stop it. So it does its job there. Uh, so how does it feel? I actually really like how it feels. It looks super cool. I think it's really classy looking now. Good cap clip action. I think the seal is as good as it is with the original. That's my guess. It, it seems like a good seal. So I don't feel like this marker is going to dry out. But I haven't used the, the holder is going to cause the marker to dry out at least. But I haven't used it for months and months, so it's hard to say. It hasn't dried out in the short term. And uh, like I said, it is comfortable. I like the size now. It has that coldness of aluminum, which not everyone likes. But I think it's an upgrade on these Figmas. And again, it's just a, a really cool accessory for these classic fine liners, which I don't feel like I use that often. But whenever I use them, I'm like, I do enjoy them. I, and I think to myself, oh, I should use these more. They're just a high-quality product. And uh, they're fun to write with, and they give you very good precise lines that again they have very little variability if you want a 0.5 millimeter line over a extended period of time or an extended length no problem getting it with a fine liner so very fun to write with so yeah this is just a cool accessory for people that use the pigma all the time which i think are a lot of people we see a lot of people use or a lot of companies doing metal holders like this and a bunch of Japanese companies specifically like to do them for classics like a Pentel ball pen or this Pigma, like the the kind of, cheap, uh, I guess, like cheaper, less expensive pens that have been around forever. We've seen a lot of companies release some sort of a holder for. And it's, uh, this one's nice because it's on the cheaper side. Uh, and it comes from the company that makes the original pen, which is the best. So that usually ensures a better fit and a much lower price than companies that are like a third-party company coming in and offering a metal holder for a Pigma. Usually those will be 40 or $50. So, uh, yeah, fun upgrade, and they're available now. I think they just came out in 2022, maybe in January or February. So thanks for watching.